Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani. We lady na ustawi. We lady na ustawi. That is the motto of the university that is right behind me. And it means professionalism and prosperity. That is the motto of the Adhi University here in Dar es Salaam. The university is located very near to the University of Dar es Salaam. And on today's episode, we'll be just walking around the Adhi University and exploring and seeing what it's like, getting a vibe of the place. So if you're new to the channel, I'll appreciate it if you can consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni, Tanzania. Welcome to the Adhi University or in the language of Kiswahili, Chuo Kiku Adhi. It is a public university here in Dar es Salaam. It was established on the 28th of March 2007, though it has been offering training for more than 60 years in different fields. It is situated on Observation Hill, close to the University of Dar es Salaam. So I'm currently at the university. I'm really loving the beautiful greenery. I'm seeing the trees and to the left there that's the seating area where some of the students congregate and sit down and they might socialize and even do some work under the shade of the beautiful trees there. It's quite a big um, university. So this is the vibe here at the university, guys. As you can see, it's really well kept maintained, very clean. And I like the fact that they have incorporate, you know, lovely garden park style areas where people can, you know, sit and have a relax sometimes. All of this contributes to a better learning experience when you do incorporate these uh, natural elements. So we're just walking around. It's a very calm day. The students are literally, I guess, just back. It's the beginning of the new year. So, um, yeah. The university was established under the University Act No. 7 of 2005 and came into being after the signing of the Adhi University Charter by the then Tanzanian President Jakea Kikwete on the 28th of March 2007. The roots of the Adhi University can be traced back to pre-independence days when a surveying training school offering technician certificate courses in land surveying was established in the city of Dar es Salaam. In 1974, the name was changed to Adhi Institute and its range of courses expanded to include building design and building economics. In the early 1980s, the public health engineering course, later renamed environmental engineering, was introduced. In 1996, the Adhi Institute became a constitute college of the University of Dar es Salaam and 10 years later was granted autonomy as Adhi University. During the decade of association with the University of Dar es Salaam, the Adhi Institute grew dramatically. The number of academic programs on offer increased from 6 to 39, while the number of students grew from 400 to 1,400.
1979, the Center for Housing Studies was established as a joint project between the governments of Tanzania and the Netherlands. The center has now grown into the Institute of Human Settlement Studies, which is involved in the regulation of informal settlements, which is an issue in some areas in the city of Dar es Salaam. You may be wondering, what are some of the courses offered at the university? The university currently offers undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in the following schools as an institution. School of Architecture, Constitution, Economics and Management. The School of Earth Sciences, Real Estate, Business and Inform Information. The School of Environmental Science and Technology. The School of Spatial Planning and Social Science. And the Institute of Human Settlement Studies.
I do trust that you have had a joyful experience watching today's episode. We took a casual walk exploring the Adi University here in Dar es Salaam. My name is Wemba Imani, and if you're new to the channel, do consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Karibuni Tanzania. Kwahereni.